Today, we returned back to the Deer Simulator Dimension and became the King of the Future. That's right, we sent our deer forward in time. Can we fully upgrade our deer, or will we run out of time? You'll have to watch to find out. Go ahead and headbutt the like button. And hey, why not subscribe to join the adventurers? It's time for the adventure to begin. Guido, here we are back once again in the Deer Simulator Dimension, and the number one rule of the Deer Simulator Dimension is that when you're in the Deer Simulator Dimension, you simulate a deer. Behold, I am the most handsome deer in all existence. At least, as far as I'm aware. Well, Guido, this place is looking as beautiful as ever. All of our favorite people are here, like the koala, who uh, is still the bringer of death, correct? Anyway, yeah, the koala is here. I also saw there he is, the giant floating elephant. But Guido, now is the opportunity to make new friends as a deer. That's right, there is an entirely new area available to us. It's like some kind of deer temple or something. This is super cool, and that plane just flew directly through it. Okay, let me go ahead and try shoot this down. Okay, I think it's working. Oh, look at this. There's like a giant button up there. We should be able to see that there is a... Oh my gosh. Are we opening a portal? There's like a giant laser gun over there. But first of all, we have some kind of portal that's opening up and... Oh my goodness. Wow. This is one small step for deer. One giant leap for deer kind. All right, boys, come on. We are going to do this. We are going straight through the portal here. And we are going to see exactly... What's on the other side? Oh my goodness, Guido! Deers were not supposed to travel like this. This is... Whoa! Dude, look at this. We have made it to the future. What the heck is going on here? There's a hologram koala. So, buddy, I've got to say, this is not what I expected at all. This is absolutely incredible. We are in some futuristic city where deer are very popular and where there are weird faces on the side of buildings. What the heck? I've lost all my guns as well. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and start doing what I do best, knocking things down, knocking entire buildings over and, oh geez, hurting myself in the process. All right, come on, buddy. We've almost got this thing entirely knocked over. Let's see exactly what's going on on the inside. So we crush that down and, oh, the weird face disappeared, leaving us with... What the heck is this? This is a new weapon. Oh my goodness me. We have these like futuristic <gasps> rocket launchers. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> that is immense. Dude, there are like flying cars everywhere and stuff. Let's destroy this squid building right here. Dude, look, as long as we keep away from that hologram of koala, we should be absolutely far. Whoa, that rocket is getting a bit close. Okay, we are A-OK. -okay. I just want to see this entire building destroyed so we can find the secrets underneath there. Let's do something like this. Maybe do I do like... Oh, I can charge them up, I think. All right, let's see exactly what's waiting for us under here. The katana. Excellent. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, look at this motorcycle. Whoa. Can I actually... Oh, my goodness. Well, this is pretty epic. Oh, my gosh. What the heck is wrong with me? I've become some kind of freak. This is unreal. Oh my gosh, I am a motorcycle deer. That's right, we are truly in the future here, folks. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, Guido, what on earth is that? I don't know, Steve, but I don't like it. We've also got this giant rhino here who is kind of just staring at the ground. He actually looks quite upset. Should I go ahead and blast this guy? I guess we'll see. Okay, got a few rockets directly targeted at him. Doesn't look like it's doing much. We also have this hologram dog here and oh, the ruins of the police station. Look at this. Oh, that is insane. We've got, oh my gosh, like giant hamster wheels. Dude, the future is weird. Let's go ahead and uh, get these guys away from there. It looks like by pushing this, they're powering up something. Can I push it as well? Look, everyone, just dance with me, okay? There's no need for this. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these uh, guinea pigs right here. They don't need to be... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they don't need to be powering up the city or whatever it is they're doing. 
Okay, so once we do this, are we going to lose, like, entire power to the city? Let's deify everyone else, free them from their slavery here. And this should mean there should be absolutely nobody powering up this city, or at least powering up this device. Oh my gosh, and look at that. All the lights have gone off. What the heck is that thing? Um, hello? Are you all good? Um, there's like this weird... Can I shoot him? Uh, oh my gosh, I can. Big time monkey. Run from big time monkey. Oh my gosh. Guys, run. We've unleashed a crazy ancient evil here. This is unreal. And now... Oh my gosh, we are being chased by this guy. Dude, this is terrifying. Oh my goodness. Why did I do that? Why did I get curious? Big time monkey is now hunting me down. And he means business. Okay, I'm gonna fire a few rockets as soon as I can. Just don't want to get trapped by this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh, dude, big time monkey just slaughtered me. All right, so it's clear that we need a few more weapons before we take down big time monkey. And oh, it looks like he disappears. So the way to get to Big Time Monkey is by taking out the power in this dimension, or this sub-dimension, I guess. And in turn, that will summon him. All right, one more hit, and we should see whatever we have underneath here. Okay, so we have more rockets. There we go. We've got another building down, and we have... What is that? Some kind of laser rifle? Uh, oh my gosh, yes it is. What the heck, dude? This is insane. Of course, with twice the weapons, that equals twice the damage. Let's pick up another one of these things and... Oh my gosh, I have more guns. Oh, big time monkey is screwed. Wait a second. What are these things? They're like rocket boots or something? Um, what the heck? Oh my gosh, I think it means we can move faster or something. Oh, I've also given myself some boosters, I think. Oh my gosh, so we can fly to the top of buildings as well. Uh... What is that zebra? And oh, look at the size of that gun. Oh, dude, of course we're going to be needing all of these things if we are to take down Big Time Monkey. All right, here we are. We are getting very close to this gun right here. Let's not mess this up now. Let's equip this and okay. I believe I have the big gun. I also saw, yeah, there's some big boots over here. Look, every little helps. Or in this case, every big helps. But dude, I think all of our guns are like weighing us down or something. Can I actually... Oh, I can destroy this building. Okay, how much damage are we doing right now, by the way? Uh, not too much. We're also dropping grenades or something. Dude, I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, oh, but what I do notice is that my disaster level is going up bit by bit. Let's see what exactly cops are like in the future here. Let's destroy this thing and let's see if we're going to get our first cops launched at us. Okay, we should be able to reach Diazesta level E right here any second now. As soon as I destroy this building, we should see ourselves... No? No cops? Really? I guess that cops don't exist in the future or something. What is this? Is that... I think that was some kind of chainsaw. Oh my gosh, it's like an electric weapon. Oh, what the heck? Um, what? They've got graves? Uh, what the heck? Oh my gosh! Dude, what the heck is that? It's like a sheep head or something. Electric sheep. Well, that is actually quite intimidating. Um, Where is he? Where is... Oh my gosh, there he is. Okay, let's blast this guy. There we go. Did he just phase out of existence or something? Uh, what is going on? I can hear all sorts of sheep, but... Oh, there he is. There's electric sheep. Let's try blast this guy. There we go. We're zapping him. He doesn't seem to be too difficult, actually. Oh my gosh, we have electric sheep in the air. Okay, keep moving here. The zebra has just leapt down from the top of that building. We've got our taser pointed directly at this guy. Let's get a bit closer here. Try zap him. But we've got more electric sheep in the air. We've got to keep moving. Okay, let's keep blasting this guy slowly but surely. We are taking him down, and we should have... Yes, there we go. Electric sheep is dealt with and the rest of his sheepy bodyguards are also dealt with. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Uh, oh, watch out for those grenades. Jeez, dude. Steve, I think it's time we take him on. Big time monkey. Oh, of course, Guido, our arch enemy. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up a few more guns here. Like, oh my gosh, we have completely transformed ourselves into this robot deer now. Okay, let's see. Oh, we are doing so much damage. Okay, I actually think we'll be able to do this quite easily, dude. We should be able to take down... <laughs> dude, I look ridiculous. We should be able to take down Big Time Monkey. Let's just destroy all of this uh, stuff around here. All of these guinea pigs. Let's make sure that there's no power going to anywhere in the city. Because now, it should be time for us to take on Big Time Monkey. Okay, so we've taken down both of those guys. Uh, these guys aren't pushing the wheels anymore. So why exactly hasn't Big Time Monkey appeared? Hmm, how curious. 
Oh, there we go. We did it. We took down the power and there he is. Big time monkey. There we go. Let's get some shots in there and we've got to keep moving because this guy is fast. Of course, we can fly in the air as well. I forgot about that. There we go. Big time monkey. Are we going to be able to do it? There we go. We took down big time monkey. Finally, our arch enemy has been dealt with. What exactly do we get as a reward? Um, it doesn't really feel like much. But one thing's for certain, Guido, we have taken this city by storm. We fully upgraded our deer with every single capability that you can imagine. Weapons, jetpacks, jet boots. Heck, we even replaced our deer butts with some kind of weird system. And now we reap the rewards, which are, well, not a lot. I guess this cool looking zebra? Oh yeah, dude, this was totally worth it.